something shocking happened on The Voice UK. Hopefully you're sitting down. One of the contestants was really good. No, seriously it is possible, albeit less likely than Elvis walking on. Not only that, the cool, quirky, 18-year-old from Stevenage who called herself Ty was a modern, urban, soul singer that you could envisage having a hit. Even become an actual pop star. Scroll down for video. Ty had the style, the personality, the attitude, and last but not least, the vocals. Yes, after five years and six series, it was a miracle. She used attitude and showed such vocal range that Jennifer Hudson herself wasn't sure is it one person or two? Despite this, she sang for a minute and a half while Will I Am and Sir Tom Jones worked out what to make of her before pressing their buzzers and turning round. The Voice UK's other experts Jennifer Hudson and Ali Mers never did, incredibly. Perhaps they were all so stunned that someone decent had finally appeared on the show that they couldn't move. Considering how many cruise ship quality crooners they've given four votes and a standing ovation to it didn't give you much confidence in Ty's chances of progressing. Obviously her audition could prove to be a false dawn. Over the years we've seen several promising, and even exciting, prospects on talent shows peter out as the competition wears on. Not necessarily on The Voice but certainly on The X Factor. I was convinced that Fleur East and Misha B for instance were clearly a cut above the others, and the norm, practically fully formed pop stars without Simon Cowell manufacturing them into them. Ty was like a cross between the two. She was the best contestant on The Voice UK I can ever remember seeing in the auditions, or any of the later rounds in the previous six series for that matter, including the finals, even the winners. Admittedly this wasn't saying much. Since it started in 2012 the caliber of the performers that The Voice UK has presented us with, and ultimately produced as its champions, has been notoriously dismal, tame non-entities. Not even one hit wonders. Any viewers who followed the charts could tell that Leanne Mitchell, Andrea Bagley, Jermaine Jackson, Steve McCrory, Kevin Singh and Moa Denron would flop, even if the celebrity mentors didn't. The Voice UK hasn't even had a daytime TV sensation to match Stacey Solomon or Chico and its best idea about how to feature its own Ali Mers was to hire the X Factor loser as a coach. So emulating its rival's achievement at least once is the holy grail for The Voice UK. Ty ticked a lot of boxes her sound, her look, and her confidence were all fresh, as well I am put it and flawlessly contemporary given the vogue for young female singers. Even though he was 33, Ali Mers had presumably been brought in as the new coach to spot any younger, hipper, talents but failed hopelessly with Ty. Luckily Tom Jones, 133, didn't you look cool? You sound cool a lot of attitude, he declared, and he should know. Love it. I felt that attitude you had was smooth and enticing. Approved well I am, possibly the best judge's compliment ever. Come crunch time, Sir Tom asked, who are you going to pick then? But it was a rhetorical question. A modern, urban, girl like Ty, wearing those glasses of course she chose well I am. That's a little superstar right there. Could Jennifer Hudson. Let's hope so, for Ty's sake and particularly for the shows. She might be The Voice UK's last chance. Here are my awards from Week 3 Chris James, Prince Ali from Aladdin. Ty, Move On Up by Curtis Mayfield, Lion Babe Version. Gemma Kalmakrian, Born to be Wild by Steppenwolf. 
Rudy Ola Jugbag, Budapest by George Ezra. Et and Ox, Sunday Morning by Maroon 5. Gentle Antonesia, Magic by Coldplay Mark Asari, Walking Away by Craig David. Simon Davies, Sign of, 